John Chomby, Chris Singleton with you. The first half of the All-Star break is behind us. And partner, it's go time in the second half. And if you want to be playing meaningful games at the end of September, you've got to put your head down and grind for the next eight weeks. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. We've got a Thursday matinee on the show. It's the Texas Rangers going up against the Chicago White Sox. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set to go. And today's starting pitcher, number 65. Tell us about him in that sub-3 ERA, Siggy. Well, anytime you can keep your ERA under three, you're doing a lot of things Leading right, off, and yeah, you're yeah, putting yeah, your yeah, team in a position to win a lot of ball games as well. And he's doing mm -hmm. tremendous out there on the mound. Every time he gets the ball, you expect him to go out there and dominate, and that's Good what he's one. been to this point. We'll see how he is today. Righty delivers. That one fouled off. Two and two. Here comes a pitch. Swings, throw it, and that's a strikeout. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Seeger stands in now. Swing and a high fly ball left field. Ben Intendi ranging after it. And there are two outs. And now we take a look at the Rangers lineup. A guy who's been huge for them over the last month plus, Nathaniel Lowe. This guy had an on-base percentage of over 400 last month. That's just telling you he's taking his walks, he's getting his knocks, he's finding some holes. Everything just going really well for him right now. But don't overlook the fact that that happens because he's having consistently good at-bats. Now it's Robbie Grossman. Oh, outside. That's outside. Now three and one. Right-hander kicks, deals, comes up empty. That's okay. strike two. Hey. Swings and misses. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Nothing doing for the Rangers. Time for the White Sox to go to work. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back at Guaranteed Rate Field. And starting in this one, Nathan Evaldi. And a guy like this is going to keep you in the ball game. He's going to go out there, compete. Not going to see a whole lot of flair and flash, but he's going to hand it over to the bullpen at some point. And if you've been able to score a few runs, you'll be in it late. So we'll see if he's able to do that for his club in this one. Nicky Lopez up to the plate. Lopez. The shortstop takes the ball. Next pitch downstairs, and that's ball three. High fly ball, right field. Garcia settles under it. He's got it, and there's one away. Time to check out the lineup for the White Sox. Singing the numbers tell us this is an offense designed to swing it. They're not going to force a ton of action on the bases. And so obviously that is one of the focal points that we'll look at. And you look at the quality of the at-bats because of the fact that the legs aren't a part of this game. They have to be very selective. Look for long pitch counts, grinding out at-bats, and really barrels to the baseball because it's a lot easier to jog around the bases than for these players to sprint. One down, base is empty. That oh. one misses. Two balls, two strikes. The wind of the pitch. 
Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. One out, base is empty. Good job to fight that one off. And that's in the dirt. And that's ball three. three. Still just the second batter of the inning. And on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They've got him working hard out there. And down on strikes he goes. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. Two outs, bases empty. Ben and Tandy up here. Two outs, bases empty. And a swing and a miss. And it's a three up, three down inning. Down in order go the White Sox. Scoreless after one. Top of the second. Now it's the right fielder, Adolis Garcia. He's a guy, Chris's Garcia. highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms of the sport. Yeah, the infielders and the catcher can never give up on a play because if this guy thinks he has a chance, he's going to throw it from the warning track if he has to. Falling behind two and one. Wouldn't chase that time. Larry Bullard making the calls behind the plate for us in this one. Pretty good strike zone. Well reviewed by those we talked to around the league. Yeah, he's an umpire. He doesn't get a lot of looks from players, maybe here and there once in a while, but he's appreciated back there. Fouls one away, and now three and two. A little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker, get that front foot down. Back to work, 3-2 now. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. So a man on base to start the inning. Well, patience and discipline paid off that right there as he got into an advantage count. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Here's Josh Young. Move to first. Garcia back on a dive. Kicks and deals. Lifted in the air out to left. Benintendi is there. Corrals it. And there's one down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder that coming open instead of staying closed. Region. If he does Nathaniel that, he's going to be able to go up Lowe. the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Nathaniel Lowe up to hit. Pitch. Runner takes off. Swing and a miss. Throw. Save. You know what? I like the aggressiveness right there. It looks like it's going to be tough to score in this one. Really good pitching so far. So why not try to put some pressure on him and see if he can steal the bag, get in the scoring position. Garcia leads off second with one gone in the inning. Swing and a ball popped up. Lopez makes the catch out number two. Batting that, that, that. the left field. Wyatt, Wyatt. Langford. Next up for Texas, Wyatt Langford. Man on second, two down. Hey. Swing and a miss, struck him out. One hit, one left. Now to the bottom of the second. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Back here on the south side. Bottom of the inning. And now the DH, Andrew Vaughn. Andrew Vaughn.
kicks and fires. And a good eye there. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Ooh, Pretty much gifted in first right base with a quick free the pass. Right there. And now yeah, yeah, yeah. Gavin Sheets. Yeah. Runner at first with no outs here. And that one fouled off. Three two now. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. to the left and he can't come up with it goes to second oh. safe there and no shot to get him at first there's two aboard man I was expecting five four, three good. double play off good. the bat but that I think way. he just tried to be a little too quick there especially when you think it's a pretty routine ball to handle it's really easy to think ahead of the transfer and the throw before you actually bring it into your glove here's Corey Lee and the pitch up the middle, Simeon. There's one. Adelo. It's a double play. I think four, six, three double plays like that are way tougher than these guys make it look sometimes because no matter how you do it, the feed from the second baseman is a tough one. That's where footwork really comes into play, but right there, very well done. So two down now, and here is Dominic Fletcher. And another ball. The White Sox with a chance to score first. Bottom half of inning number two. Late with the swing there. From a pitcher's perspective, that's a beautiful splitter right there. As a hitter, you don't like it. But he's commanded his fastball, and out of that same tunnel, that splitter comes, and the bottom just falls out of it. 2-2 two -two now. And this is inside. Lennon Sosa waits on deck. Swinging, and that'll do it. So no runs on no hits, one error, and a runner left. We played two full, no score. New inning getting started. Here's the catcher, Jonah Heim. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. Sosa. And one away in the top of the third. Batting up. The third baseman, Ezekiel. Ezekiel Duran stepping in for the Rangers. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not oh, expecting inside. someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Two and two. Chases the fastball up the ladder, struck him out. That was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Now it's Marcus Simeon. 
Two down, nobody on. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely, and I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game, it would surprise a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field. Top of the third, no score. And that one is lifted in the air. Robert moves under it. Squeezes it, and that is that. Nothing across here this half. We head now to the home half of inning number three. We're tied, nothing, nothing. Here on the south side, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And here's Sosa to the plate. And a pitch. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Now it's going to be Brooks Baldwin. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And he deals. Bounce to the right side. Low. Steps on the bag. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Back to the top of the White Sox lineup. Nicky Lopez steps to the plate for the White Sox. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Lankford snags it on the run. On to the fourth, still scoreless. And welcome back to the ballpark. On to the fourth, so now it's Corey Seager. At the belt and fires. On the ground. Sends it over to Sheets. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there. Just rolled over it. Got the ground ball. Robbie Grossman stepping in for the Rangers. All tied up. Top half of inning number four. And now two and one. That one pulled foul. In the air, right field. Fletcher pulls that one down, two away. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really now drive it. Right field. And Adoles. next will be the cleanup hitter, Adolis Garcia. Fourth inning underway, no score. That's in there. And a count one, one and two. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. That's a look game. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Rangers go down quickly there, and we are still scoreless. And we're back. Bottom of the fourth, Luis Robert now. We talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. Swings through that one out in front that time. Yeah, we go beyond just the you know fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability to have a range and you know close holes that you know are normally there against an average defender. But this guy is special, and you can see it in his first step quickness. 
This ball's chopped in the ground. A sliding stop. Not in time. He's safe. It doesn't really matter where you are in the lineup. Your job is to get on base and try to start a rally if you're leading off an inning. So an infield single does the job right there. Now we'll see if they can make something happen. Andrew Benintendi up to the plate. Nobody out. Runner at first. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base. Trying to stay out of the double play right here. pitch fights it off you'll see another well he hasn't gotten the result yet but it's got to feel pretty confident three foul balls in a row he's right on this guy and that's outside and it's two and two gets a piece and stays alive Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. In the air, right field. Garcia settles under it. Puts it away for the out. Now, the designated hitter, Andrew Vaughn. Andrew Vaughn now. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. Ivaldi checks the runner. Robert dives back in. Robert leads off first with one away. Swing and a miss. It's two and two. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. On the ground, a second might be two. There's one, and their second double play of the day will end the fourth. One hit in the inning, but no one left. On to the top of the fifth we go. No score. Guaranteed right field. Ready now for the fifth the inning. And now it's the DH, Josh Young. And the right hander deals. Just missed. Well, these Rangers doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient bats out of it. They haven't produced a run yet, but the pitch count for the starter is starting to climb, so they're hoping that starts to pay off soon. Out to short, Lopez. Rolls across the diamond, and the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. And I think they're in a good spot thanks to their now pitching, that, but no one would be shocked if this offense Nathaniel strings something together to take the lead. Lowe. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. That's and another ball. ball. Mm. That misses, and it's three and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. One down, base is empty. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. He's mixing his pitches really well. Late on that fastball after seeing the changeup. See if he can elevate one. I think if he does, he'll get the swing and miss. Ripped on a line, and Benintendi able to make the grab. Two way down. Here's the left fielder, Wyatt Lankford. The pitch. Swing and a foul straight back.
two outs. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nothing doing for the Rangers. And we're still knotted at zero. Back here on the what south side. And now the first baseman, Gavin the Sheets. Gavin Sheets. Here's a one-two. In the air, left field. Coming in on it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One away. Now back. The catch. So up next for Chicago, Corey Lee. Is fouled off. And here it comes. Oh, and man. another ball. Base is empty, one away. Last half of inning number five. that one down the line and that's just foul here's the 2 2 race down the line hit the extra bases now he'll turn for second Garcia quickly throws it in and now a runner moves into scoring position as we look for the first run of the ball game couldn't have timed it up any better than that. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. And here is Dominic Fletcher. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with this speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. And there's two away. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but now a competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. So up next, Lennon Sosa. Lee on its second with two down. Ground ball up the middle. Oh, look at the stop. To his knee, the throw. Got him. Nice play. And that may have saved a run. This guy's anticipation is off the charts. Don't see many shortstops better than that. Great job to complete the play and end the inning. Here on the south side, start of the six, John Chomby with Chris Singleton. And leading off, Jonah Heim. The pitch. Foul ball there. Bows it back with two strikes. The pitch. Bows it off, still one and two. On the ground, right side, Baldwin. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Now that third base. So next Durant. to hit for Texas, Ezekiel Duran. And downstairs. That 
one fouled off. Swings and misses, struck him out. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. So the batting order turns over. Here is Marcus Simeon. Two down, nobody on. And we're in the top half of the sixth. Whoa. And that's off the inside edge. It's two and two. Two down, nobody on. And they'll do it again. And down on strikes. Rangers go down in order. So another good inning for him on the mound. Six shutout innings now. And we still have no score. Welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the players. sixth inning. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Brooks Baldwin. Baldwin. And the pitch. Yep. You know, these White Sox showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They haven't produced a run yet, but the pitch count for the starter is starting to climb, so they're hoping that starts to pay off soon. Lowe makes the grab one away. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Well, that, that, Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Lopez. And now the shortstop, Nicky Lopez. And I think they're in a good spot thanks to their pitching, but no one would be shocked if this offense strings something together to take the lead. Last ball for a strike. All tied up here in the bottom of the sixth. Battling here as he fouls it away. Well, just about to hit that century mark. 100 pitches for this game. One down, base is empty. That one off the mark. Two and two. It's a good take. Line drive. And now maybe extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he's into second base with one away as the go-ahead run. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. I'll tell you, man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. One out, runner at second. Luis Robert steps to the plate for the White Sox. Lopez, the runner at second with one away. And the righty deals. That one 95 to finish him off. Now it's Andrew now Benintendi to hit. No left field. Andrew. Andrew. Benintendi. And a pitch. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Runner at second, two down. It was in a location where he could get those arms extended that he loves to do. So nice job right there coming back in that at bat. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. That'll be it for Nathan Evaldi, and we'll be back with their first arm out of the pen after a quick break.
David Robertson on the pitch here. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Next is the designated hitter, Andrew Vaughn. The 2 1. And he hits a ground ball right side. Oh, he gloves it, takes it himself, and he got him. Nicely done at first for the out. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now 1 0. Back after this on the show. And we're back. We go to the top of the seventh. Now it's Corey Seeger. Up the middle, Lopez tosses the first, and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. That's a huge defensive play in the late stages of the game. It might not be the most challenging we've seen today, but it needed to be made. That's helping your team. So digging in, Robbie Grossman. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Their swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. This hitter's looking for a fastball, but I'm not sure he's going to get one. Pitcher doesn't have to challenge him. If he feels better about his off-speed secondary stuff, then stay with it. Jack Swing went around, and the count is 2-2. Two two. Changing speeds has this lineup completely off-balance in this one. We've seen a lot of mistimed swings, and it's been a challenge for these hitters to get their rhythm right. This one in the air. Moving under it. Calls it in, and there's two away. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. Adolis Garcia stepping in for the Rangers. That one out to right. Fletcher makes the catch, and that is that. Bottom of the seventh, and here's the first baseman, Gavin Sheets. And it is two and one. Bullpen action for the Rangers. Grant Anderson up and loosening in the pen. Heaney, a left-hander, also throwing. There's a strike. No, he's really working that inside corner with the cutter. I tell you what, I hated that pitch. So tough to get the barrel to and to keep it fair. The punch out there, now one away. Well, I'm not really sure why he let that one go by. I mean, out of the hand, it had a lot of the strike zone. Sure, it had some good arm side run at the end to move to the outside part of the plate. But with two strikes, you got to be ready to swing it there, and you can't leave it in the umpire's hands. Righty delivers. Fights that one away. Still one and two. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Out on the drop third strike, two gone. You hear people talk about letting the ball travel so often in terms of a hitting approach, and that's a great example why right there. If he's willing to let that curveball get a little deeper into the zone before he commits, he's way more likely to recognize that it's making a beeline for the dirt. On the other side, still a nice two-strike pitch, though. Two outs, base is empty. And up next for Chicago, Dominic Fletcher. Two outs, way inside, and that hit him. Well, that definitely didn't come out of his hand the way that he was intending it to, and the release point was a little bit off as well. And next to him for the Sox, Lennon Sosa. Kicks and deals. So now one and two. One and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that is that. So one left for the White Sox, but they still lead it 1 0.
Back here on the south side. And now the DH, Josh Young. Looking to get the tying run on base. Fly ball down the line. And Intendi ranging after it. Brings it in. And there's one down. Now back. Nathaniel Lowe digs in now. Popped up. Cheeks should have this one. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. Now there's two away. Next to hit, Wyatt Lankford. Now this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. Kicks and fires. Two balls, one straight. Movement for the White Sox in their bullpen. Johnny Brebbia preparing to come on if needed. Number 67 warming up as well. Holding on to a one-run lead, and we're at the top of the eighth. Cracks his bat and pops him up. Baldwin. Safe at first and an infield single keeps the inning going. That's why you run hard 90 feet. Take nothing for granted, especially when you've got great speed. I'll take the infield knock. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Number 65 won't go any further, and he was very good. They'll be happy with that, no doubt. We'll be back with a new pitcher in a minute. White Sox going with a new arm. Aniel De Los Santos. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Runner at first with two away. And now the switch hitting catcher, Jonah Heim. Two outs. Swing and a high fly ball to left. And Benintendi able to make the grab. And that's the third out. One left for Texas. They're down one nothing. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Andrew Heaney. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Leading off, Brooks Baldwin. The second baseman, Brooks Baldwin. And that one fouled off. One two now. That's the ball. Two balls, two strikes. Bang. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. Well, we saw a solid effort out of their starter and the bullpen is following yeah, yeah, yeah. suit. It's just That's a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach when you can hand the ball off with multiple arms and get stability from all of their performances. Up the middle, Simeon. The throw to first, two up, two down. Now back, the, the center, center field. field. Louis. Robert. Two outs, base is empty. And now it's Luis Robert. Two down, nobody on. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Now a check swing at the 1-1. Look down to first. Yes, he did. That's a swing. That one not close. The count now two and two. Some activity in the bullpen for Texas. Grant Anderson up and throwing. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. A wind of the pitch. 
This is off the plate, and it counts full. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Nothing doing for the White Sox, but they hold a 1-0 lead. Closer, Johnny Brevy. He's averaging more than one hit allowed per inning this the season. And that's not where you want to be at all. So we'll see how he does here. The line to kick the pitch. Check swing. He went too far, and it's a strike. And another ball. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Here comes a pinch. Ripped to third and caught. Right at that is a positive sign, even though it probably doesn't feel like it. He hit the ball hard, but it doesn't always work out in your favor. Sometimes a defender is there to make a play. Up next for the Rangers, Marcus Simeon. One down, base is empty. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Now pitchers have become so much better at commanding that high fastball. It used to be that a lot of pitchers didn't like to throw it because it threw off their release point and their mechanics, and they're aimed at keeping everything at the knees, get ground balls. But because hitters get a swing path that can lift balls at the knees up in the air and over the fence, this pitch has come back into play, and they are doing some special things with it. The 2 1. They're down to their final stroke. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tie them up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Damn, and that's the ball game. Number 65 with his first major league win. Yeah, nicely done. I'm sure he'll feel very good about that and get the ball for his trophy case as he should. A start he won't ever forget. The final one to nothing. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long from the south side of Chicago. <laughs>